Hello everyone. My name is Lata Guta. My channel name is Lata Guta official page. If you are a newcomer for this channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. And if you like the video, please share for your friends. After subscribing the channel, please push down the bell button to get the next video. Let me start the first concept of the chapter 1 part 2. The first concept about chapter 1 part 2 is enabling device and the network. We can easily say that enabling device or network, we can say programmable devices. In the world of digital electronic system, there are four basic kinds of device. The first one is memory, the second one is microprocessor, the third one is the logical, the fourth one is about the network. Let's, let me see one by one. When we say memory, device to store random information such as content of spreadsheet or database. Simply, memory, we can use memory to store the data that maybe it is random information we can store permanently or timely store data in a memory every activity every task we did in a machine is stored under the memory under the memory so we can easily say memory is used to store data used to store some script or used to store some instruction whenever you whenever you use some kind of laptop some different electronic device any instruction of the device is stored in a memory this is a time of memory as you see this is ram memory that means memory versus storage memories it may be this volatile fast access storage may be non-volatile large capacity slow access so simply you can say memory is used to store the data the second one is microprocessor <coughs> Microprocessor, sorry. It is used to execute software instruction. One of the main advantage of microprocessor is to execute software instruction. To execute software instruction, because of that, we can say microprocessor is it is a brain of a computer, or we can say central processing unit, central processing unit, or it is a brain of computer which may use to use to execute software instruction to provide to perform a wide variety of tasks such as running word processing program or video games for example if you want to write something by using computer first of all you open micro software microsoft office by microsoft office doing the opening microsoft office to write some kinds of texts or some kinds of a uh, and maybe if you want to tweet some kind of email during we do this task is the team the device which help you to do such task is what we call is microprocessor microprocessor we can say simply microprocessor used for this so it is a central processing unity central processing unity is to execute the uh, different instruction the second one is the logical devices it provide provide a specific function to provide a specific function including device to device interfacing in, including data communication including signal processing including data discipline timing control operation and uh, almost every other other function system is performed one of the main goal of this logical device is to interfacing device together for example in case of the first topic, in case of the first concept, we here we have central processing unity, we have central processing unit here, and we have memory device here. The way we can store the data in a memory is through memory. We can store data in memory by using different instruction. The thing which store is, is store instruction is memory. The device which escape the instruction is CPU. So it needs some interface or some logical interconnection between the memory and the CPU. So the main goal of this logical device is to make to make different devices are interconnected and interoperable together to work something. 
In case of logical devices, we have different kinds of operation. That means this logical device is maybe used in thumb logic. That means maybe it is true or false, or maybe it is one or zero. So there is different Boolean expression to logical gate connected, as you see from these diagrams. So this is a some sim sample diagram for logical devices, since this logic device only understands zeros and the one. The second one is the network. It is a collection of computer server mainframes and network device peripheral or either device connected to one another to allow sharing of data. This network is used to create some uh, interconnection between different devices together. For example, if you have if you have one laptop, one server, and other devices, so to interconnect many devices together to share data we can use this network so <coughs> network is simply interconnecting devices but logical device is to interfacing different device together so by using network we can share data between devices so in case of programmable device we will refer to as chip that incorporates the field program in case of programmable device we can subdivide it into three the first one is feed programmable device logical device complex programmable logical device and the programmable logical device the difference between these three programmable devices is the first one is the first one has millions of ports to use million of ports to use or million of blocks million of blocks that means block we have we have many blocks in case of field programmable logic device but in complex programmable device thousands of blocks are there in one chip but this programmable logic programmable logic device is we can say simple programmable logic device it have few port block of ports that's all the difference is only in case of block of ports this is some of a list of some programmable device and the way is a computer first as a programmable device when we say computer is a programmable device the reason behind is any person may use computer for different purposes for different purposes so we can say that computer is a programmable devices and also this is some list so you can refer from internet uh, this is another concept about service enabling devices when we say service enabling device which can we we can say that any device or any device or any device which gives service which gives service through by using network is what we call is service enabling devices. So we can say the full range of network electric chip enabling. This service enabling device cannot give service without a, a network. But if there is if the network is exist, we can use these tools or this device for functions. Or simply we can say that service enabling device is any device any device which gives service for the user by using the network is what we call is service enabling devices such as maybe it is modem router switch and other device are there this is some concept the other concept is about human computer interaction the, con the human computer refers to as communication and the interaction between human and the machine <coughs> simply Human machine interaction is a communication between machines with human through uh, some interaction method. Some interaction method, maybe for by use via user interfaces. You can interact through via user interfaces. What is interaction in human computer interaction? Human computer interaction is the study of how people interact with a computer. How people can interact with a computer and to what extent computers are or not developed for successful interaction with the human beings. So to state that such concept is in case of human computer interaction, we have three parties. We have three parties. The first one is user itself, the second one is computer itself, the third one is the way they work together. Since we have three parties in case of human computer interaction. So the third part is a concept or the logic. The two, the two of them is the real one. Maybe the computer is the real, if the human is the real. But the third one is the logic. That means through 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 which technique user can interact with the computer. Through what? So the thing which study about is the way they work together. So we have three parties. How do user interact with a computer? A user can interact with computer 
through graphical user interface. We only interact with the computer by using graphical user interfaces. So the question about how do you interact with the computer is through graphical user interfaces. How important is human computer interaction? The first goal of human computer interaction is what? To improve what? the interaction between the user, the users and the computer by making more user friendly. One of the main goal of human computer interaction is making computer be user friendly. That through by improving some interaction techniques. So this is the first goal. The main advantage of human computer interaction is the first one is simplicity. The second one is easy of deployment. Doing for to deploy some kinds of a human computer interaction, it must be easy. As or some operation, some cost saving for a smaller setup. They also reduce solution design time for design time and the integration complexity. This is some discipline on discipline in computing to human computer interaction. The first one is about cognitive psychology. When we say cognitive psychology, any psychology which is study about some human maybe human mind, human mind is what we call is cognitive psychology. That means limitation information processing, performance, prediction, cooperative working and the capability is it is a part of cognitive psychology. So to make any machine to be intelligence, any any developer must understand some cognitive psychology. So so this is a part of human computer interaction. The second one is computer science, including graphical technology, prototype tooling, user interfacing management system. It means that any computer science any computer science expert can develop some graphics, some technology, some simulation prototype, some user interfaces. So to to do to design to design human computer interaction or to improve how human can interact with the computer, any developer or any expert must understand the terms or the concept about computer science. The third one is a linguistic, when you say linguistic anything which study about the language or high level languages is linguistic so to say any to say any computer human computer interaction is advanced if the machine can understand high level language such means natural languages so to do this any expert must con, uh, must have concept of linguistic engineering artificial intelligence human factor is also another one is the future trends of emerging technology as we know the, nowadays we use for for generation method the future trends of emerging technologies such as generation artificial intelligence autonomous device blockchain augmented analysis digital tuning linking edge computing immersive experience in smart space this is all about the future trends of uh, emerging technology thank you for watching this video we will meet in next video thank you thank you thank you